The cost of medicine is just too high for many Americans. What creative solutions are out there? In Tennessee, we found one pharmacist making a difference in an idea he calls flip your script. Near downtown Memphis is a pharmacy like you've probably never seen before. These guys are filling the orders. Pharmacist These Phil Baker is the founder and CEO of Good Shepherd Pharmacy. Uh, People who can't afford prescriptions can join for a low monthly fee and get connected to free or low-cost medicine. Like 32 million people report that they can't afford their medicine. I worked at a community store and I saw people leave their medicine at the counter all the time. Um, I saw I was the director of pharmacy for a small hospital. I saw people coming into the hospital, being admitted to the hospital because they weren't able to get their blood pressure medicine and they'd had a stroke. And it's just a mess. Uh, that it's, it's tragic that the average person can't afford their medicine. And so with Good Shepherd Health, what we're, we're really trying to do is kind of reinvent the community pharmacy. She'll run an order through there. After just a few weeks of running his small pharmacy, he says he encountered an unusual problem. People who'd lost a loved one were showing up with bags of perfectly good unused medications to donate to someone who needs the help. But in Tennessee, it was against the law for pharmacies to accept donated meds. I had to tell these folks, there's nothing wrong with that medicine, but there's nothing you can do with it but flush it down the toilet or throw it away. It has to be destroyed. Every day we get two, three, four of these donated meds that are coming in. With more and more people looking to donate reaching out, Baker started looking for a solution. And so I worked with legislators for a couple of years in Tennessee to get a bill amended so that we could create a reclamation program that allows us to accept donations, medication donations, from any individual anywhere in the country. The medications have to be unopened and unexpired in original packaging. They literally have to be in pristine condition. But if they are, then we can accept them, we can expect them, inspect those, make sure that they're safe, and then redispense those to patients who would not otherwise be able to afford them. These are unused, they should be unopened. Yeah. And, we, and these just came in, so I haven't inspected, they could have been opened, but these are good to go. With the law on his side now, Baker has started a new separate program to expand the idea. It's called Flip Your Script. So far, it's been collecting and distributing chemotherapy drugs for cancer patients. For us, it means you'll reuse that prescription, but also like flip your script is change your story. You know, make a new story, flip the script on somebody. Um, so it's, it doubly applies. And so I thought, you know, I'm all about Memphis. I, I love this city, I lived here my whole life. And um, I like that it was, that a person from Memphis would, would wink at that. And we started exclusively with oral chemotherapy medications. Oral chemotherapies are the most expensive meds on the market, and they're also some of the most wasted meds on the market because so many patients pass away with cancer while they're still on this medicine. And so um, we focused on those exclusively. This is the inventory. These are all the chemo meds that we have that are ready to be dispensed to patients who won't be able to afford them. As part of Flip Your Script, Good Shepherd Pharmacy has brought in over $5 million worth of donated oral chemotherapies, more than 550 individual donations, matching 34 uninsured patients who say they wouldn't have gotten their chemotherapy in any other way. One of the donors is Brad Trotter, who recently lost his wife, Terry, to breast cancer. When my wife passed away, she left behind, as you can imagine, a, uh, uh, a cabinet full of drugs. Um, and I didn't know what to do with them. Um, a lot of it was, you know, narcotics and things that are dangerous and you want to dispose of properly. You certainly don't want them, you know, flushed down the toilet and in the drinking water, right? So um, uh, I connected with Phil. That was something he was able to repurpose and that uh, it found a, a home and, and, and was able to have an impact. Yeah, she would, have, she would have been very happy about that. We're shooting to get it there about five days early. Baker continues to see growth in his program and says his goal to rebuild and reinvent the community pharmacy is having an impact from who it serves to how it serves the people in need. They consistently tell us that they would not have been able to get their medicine any other way, uh, which is heartbreaking. I can't imagine what it'd feel like to have cancer and know that there's a treatment but not be able to get the treatment. I'm surprised at how we've been able to really affect people's lives. 
people don't realize how important it is. And I'm proud to say that yeah, we've been successful and believe that this is something that could be repeated all over the country. Anybody in Tennessee can donate medicine to flip your script. Whether they can send donated medicine to you depends on your state's laws. You can visit goodshepRx.com for more information.